So I just got a call from a neighbor about a leaking toilet. So yeah, it's just constantly leaking. Most of the time, it's usually a flapper that is the cause of that. And that's why Fluid Master has come up with some great products that are universal for just about every toilet. So their new super flapper allows you to fit basically any toilet out there between a two and a three inch opening. So you don't have to fuss around and find your exact model of flapper. This is gonna be universal and work on most toilets out there. First shut off the water and then we'll flush the water out of the tank. Okay, so this is the old flapper. We're gonna disconnect it off of our lever. Okay, there we go. So take a look at this. So you can see how this is like kind of getting eaten away. So this doesn't look too bad here, but you can see how it's all curled up. So most likely waters, this is not making a good seal. So let's change out this flapper. All right, so what's great about this super flapper is it's universal. So let me show you how to determine which size you have. So you just open up the package. And so it has a couple guides on here. So this would be your two inch, this would be your three inch. So take your old flapper. If it covers the two inch like that, then it's a two inch flapper that you need to adjust this to. So this would be your three inch. Obviously that's not gonna cover your three inch opening. But now that we know that it's two inch that we have to convert this to, essentially all you do is take all the blue off. So this big bulb comes off the bottom. We also take off the rubber gasket that's blue. So this is a blue gasket. That's for the three inch, we don't need that. And then we also take off our little connector point for our hinge for the flapper. So these just kind of pry off of here. So all three of these, you just remove and discard. So now this guy is what you just connect to your existing pivot arm. What's cool about this is this is a really old toilet and we can adjust the water flow. So what this does, when you twist it, so when you have it all the way to the single water droplet, that is uh, the least amount of water. It's a water saver, essentially. When you have, wanna have water saving, the hole becomes bigger and it, it basically closes the flap sooner. When you have it all the way closed, the flapper is completely buoyant and it's staying open when the water level is going down. So, you know, if you want to save water, what I recommend on an oil to older toilet is to just put center it, see how it flushes. If you can save a little bit of water, click it back one, see how it functions, make sure it's flushing. But if you're having problems flushing, just go one indicator each. And then again, if you just want the full amount of water that you can get out of the toilet, just make it all the way to the right and that'll make this float the most buoyant. All right, so let's just go reinstall this. Very simple and just snaps right onto the, the little pivot arms. And we'll just put the chain on this old lever and there we go. Nice. Thanks, Fluid Master. You make this job really easy. Uh, obviously, every situation is different. This one was pretty quite challenging with it being in the wall this way, but that's where it's nice to have those components so you can make everything leak free.